doesn't actually know what that word means. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. That's a great one. I didn't even think about that. What is up, YouTube? How y'all doing? Yeah. All of a sudden, I'm depressed. Oh, my gracious. This boy. Oh, man. Um, Ben Stupo. Ben Stupo is back on the screen again. And I'm sad. <clears throat> um, it ain't working. That's the part that tripped me out. You, you look, you, you chasing clout. And I, f I feel sorry for Eminem, man, because Eminem is so high on a level and Ben Stupo is so low on a level that, um, if, if, if Eminem comment in any way, even tweeted, it would give him too much fire. It's almost like <clears throat> if a tweet or Eminem saying anything would be like a drop, uh, uh, a drop of the most dangerous poison to make something get bigger. Do you see what I'm saying? <clears throat> so shout out to everybody and all the reactors. <clears throat> shout out to all the reactors and everybody that's um standing up for um the number one rapper. Um and it's funny, man, because uh me personally and I love music and I know music. The, my two first go-to rappers is two white guys because <clears throat> I don't I don't care about color. No. I care about talent. So without any further ado, hit that subscribe button. Hit <clears throat> I've been laughing so hard, man. He don't need deserve no um, intro. Let's check it out. <laughs> Hello again and welcome back Hello to again. another one. And today we have a lot to unpack. As while Eminem and fans around the world celebrate the 25th anniversary of the Slim Shady LP, the Benzino vs Eminem drama in 2024 is getting spicier by the day. And based on what we are about to explore, Benzino was spitting uh, when he said, <coughs> and I'm gonna eat We're failing as a people. Ooh. But it is not a we situation per se, it is Benzino and his people that are failing. As apart from the fact that someone in his team is trying to sell him out for cash, we got to find out that things get worse as we got reports that Benzino's girlfriend is also out here exposing the rapper. And as you'd see, Eminem's lyrics on Doomsday Part 2 just got <laughs> validated. And we got to find out about this thanks to Benzino's beef with the game's manager, Wack 100. So buckle up as Benzino is getting exposed from all angles. For what? starters, we got to find out a few hours ago during Benzino's rant against YouTube reactors like Knox Hill that the man who was co-founder of the Source magazine doesn't know what a double entendre means and it made its way to Twitter check this out. So the man who quote wrote rap Elvis with a bunch of double and triple entendres doesn't actually know what that word means. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. That's a great one. I didn't even think about that. Be I'm not thinking about that part because I know for a fact, my ears know, my melodies, I know music. And all of a sudden you rapping in a unique language, so to speak, the double entendres. So I know you didn't, you didn't write it. <clears throat> That's why you don't know what the word mean. <laughs> oh my He's God. Really that word the word comes in from double entendres. I never even heard that word. All of a sudden I'm here. <laughs> and I like the way he double entendre like. Yeah, that's some white people just trying to dissect what you're doing. <laughs> oh my God. I don't think it's just white people. There's a lot of mm, people mm, in the mm. reaction community. Doesn't matter race that use the entendre word. I mean, even rappers use it. Joel Ortiz on I Will talked about the level of I heard a lot of people say it. he was dropping and bring it to the table oh, my bad Cricket is rapped about on but I own a recording studio so his school of rap talk about how to use entendres 
to improve yourself in your raps and your wordplay. It's become more of like a consensus word that's used around the hip hop community. But I mean, I wouldn't expect Benzino, who's been incredibly out of touch from hip hop and, you know, the limelight for so many years to really have a pulse on what's going on. Tondras. I never even heard that fucking word. All this so the man who believes Eminem is a cultural vulture turns out to be I like an that actual part. I like vulture that. in hip hop. If we're being <clears throat> honest, how do you make a name for yourself using hip hop and not know something so basic? <laughs> We're failing as a people. Ooh. But there's more on the Ghost Rider story, as in response to the snippet that went viral of the source looking to sell Benzino's studio session for cash, rapper Quest McCody reacted to this post. Benzino's Ghost Rider Ness Lee is the one in front of the computer. He is playing his reference track. That is his voice. You can hear him say, you shouldn't come for me. Go watch any of his battles and voice match if you want. Quest reacted with, <laughs> That man Benzino had 100 dudes help him with that ish, man. And in response, some believe that Benzino outed himself in prior interviews for this reason. He said he had a team. I knew when he put it out there, it was gonna be damage control for what was coming next. Laughing emoji. And some have concluded, you know, Eminem is a force in the industry when his op needs 10 battle rappers in a room to help write a diss track. No Neck continues taking L's, lol, you can't make this up. This isn't even the worst L so far this week, as you'd see at the latter part of the video. But Benzino's been going off on social media. He believes he just exposed Eminem as he shared this photo from the Real Slim Shady set and added the caption, this is your rap god, huh? Y'all can have him. He even got the white stockings pulled up to thighs, shake my head. Ish is ridiculous and no, this this ain't AI. Benzino is talking like this is some revelation when the music video for the real Slim Shady has got over 925 million views. Pretty much every hip hop fan in the world has seen that video at least once, so this is nothing new. But Benzino wasn't done. He shared this that included the caption, this your goat. Eminem dressed in drag, get Cat Williams on the phone, and this is why Benzino cooked him. Did Benzino shared it <clears throat> with, but wait, there's more. Watch how he puckers his lips, laughing emoji. It is crazy because people are flooding my DMs with this ish. People are finally waking up. Um, <clears throat> Eminem did a did, did a a joke. I don't know where it was on. Maybe um, to here can help me find it where. He he admitted that he was gay. It was a joke. <clears throat> and the guy was interviewing him and he was saying that he 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 um yeah, I'm coming out the closet or something like that. He I can't remember the whole thing, but everybody knew it was a joke. So Eminem ain't worried about that. He know who he is. You know, we got more <laughs> context on why Benzino so is fixated to on Eminem's say that he's lips, gay. which we'll get to in a <laughs> moment. Will say but once again, I'm gay, the real thing Shady has Shut been up. out for decades, but Benzino's out here acting like he's doing something, and his clash with games manager, WAC 100, has led to some spicy revelations about Benzino. As after he shared a screenshot of the exchange he had with WAC 100 via text messages, he added the caption, These clown WAC 100 can fool y'all with this tough guy ish but the real reason i wanted to do the interview was because i thought he would pull up so we can down i was strapped to the f up the whole time i was in the room with adam 22 and had dudes in two cars outside with sticks waiting for him to pull up if he would have pulled he would have got the business on my dead mother i was there for four hours he knew i was there and he what? never pulled up i'm not going back and forth with him on the internet that's what he wants but he's not gonna last out here doing the ish that he do trust me and this got some wondering because once again <coughs> this goes against his message on drink champs a user expanded but what happened to stop killing each other come on now more on this note so much for your whole speech and not killing each other laughing emoji and whack got benzino's girlfriend to expose him that confirms eminem's lyrics on doomsday part 2 the whole red roof in 
incident. The entire conversation is on Clubhouse TV, mm -hmm. titled Wack 100 Violates Benzino and releases audio of Benzino's girlfriend exposing him. And here's a snippet from Clubhouse TV oh, to give shut. you an idea of what this is about. He's on his knees on the bed, like with his back are arched. And I slapped him. I said, why would you want to do something like that? Then he said, man, you never want to have any fun with me. And I'm like, what the fuck? So all these times, after a while, I just, in my head, I just said, okay, he gay. So he would buy me these strap-ons. He would go to the store and get them. I never asked him. He would go to the store and get the strap on, And he will bring them back to me. I thought it was for other things. Minute. Face to face, meet each other. If, you, if that was to happen, would you give him a five? Fuck it, man. I'd hug him. I'd hug him. <laughs> this is funny, man. As you heard, Benzino got it twisted when 50 Cent said, Get the strap. And this explains why he was fixated on photos of Eminem's parody of Britney Spears from the real Slim Shady. And Wack shared this on IG. Benzino, keep talking. I'ma send this live clip to 50 Cent. The exposers strike again. And this post included this screenshot. And Wack followed up with this on IG. Yo, I know a lot of people got a lot to say about my movement. But my movement is my movement. A valley nigga, Nam's baby. I know how I go. Benzino, you was popping it. You, you had to know the whack was gonna get some get back. Mm, mm, we mm. are the exposers. I will lose 10 battles to win the war. Now, y'all tag Benzino. Mm, okay? Mm, mm. I damn, boy, you bet not even put an emoji under this post. You know what's coming. All right? Now, everybody else, Baddies in the Beast on Urban Flix, 5.30 Pacific Standard Time, every Wednesday. <laughs> Y'all might see the full video of Ozino crawling around and crying like an itty-bitty little boy. <laughs> I'll be looking forward to your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching <clears throat> and see you on the next one. Mm. If I known it was going in, I wouldn't have put no more food in my mouth. Benzino, I don't care what anybody says. It's almost like when I first heard him rapping on it, because I, I didn't know. I didn't know it's against the rules. I'm still learning. I love to tell people that I'm learning because I am learning, and I learned a lot. I know what I'm doing now. <laughs> but I didn't know... If you dissing somebody, you cannot use, it's frowned upon to use a ghostwriter. Like, if I'm beefing with another channel, which we had beef. It's beef, man. It's beef. This is funny, man. We had beef with a couple other channels, right? But anyway, let's say if we was rapping in that reactors, and then I went out because I can't rap. Um, I can't write. I can't write a battle rap. And I go ask somebody to help me write a battle rap. That's frowned upon. Nah, you supposed to you supposed to come correct by yourself. I didn't know that when I heard the the Benzino Ben Stupo rap. So when he rap, he's rapping and and doing all this, and I'm like, dang, his flows is completely different. Hmm. Well, oh, oh, that right there. Oh yeah, some man, somebody wrote this stuff for him, but I'm still checking it out. Like ain't no big deal. He, he somebody wrote it for him. Hey, he got money. He got money. He paid somebody to rap uh, to write it for him. Mm. And um, you know, then all of a sudden I'm like, oh, you you're not allowed to do that. So I already knew somebody wrote it for him. Now they saying, oh, we got proof. You got a ghost writer and all this type of stuff. And I'm sitting here like, I've been knew he had a a writer. I thought that was obvious. I mean, you know, as a producer. Come on, man. We you, you got a producer saying that you had a ghost writer, chump. You already knew that. And then you trying to cover it up. I hate when people lie, get caught in their lies, and they still trying to cover it up. Come on, man. Just admit the fact. You okay, I tell you what, put out another one. <laughs>
put out another one and make sure um, with a ghostwriter, without a ghostwriter, put out another one. <laughs> Starting like right now, I bet you any amount of money, it'd take him a long time to put it out there. I I bet you, hey, hey, last thing I'm going to say, I bet you any amount of money in M- Eminem's next album, Eminem is going to say something about Benzino in his album or something that explains why he don't even need to say anything and and, and everything. It's it's going to be like, wow. It, it got to be. I bet you. You heard it here first. Y'all take it light, take it slow. Tell them I crossed. Hold yourself. Peace out.